features here. This is the iPhone 8, this is the iPhone 10. Both have been out for months now, the 8 a little bit longer than the 10. And I've gotten a lot of comment requests uh, asking me to compare these because there's a lot of people out there who want something smaller than the 8 Plus and aren't sure between the 8 and the 10. And since I'm between videos, I decided it'd be worthwhile to do. But this is my experience with both of these phones and a pretty good story that can illustrate these two devices and which one might be right for you. So when I first got the iPhone 8, I said it was an awesome phone. It had a lot of things going for it. Um, the build quality had been improved in my opinion. Uh, the speed was awesome, the camera was really good, uh, and the form factor itself was still nice and compact. But I did say it wasn't necessarily worth the upgrade over the 7, when the 7 was still a similar battery life, a very similar screen, similar camera, similar features, design, etc. The iPhone 10 brought new excitement because of how different it was for a change. Totally new design, bleeding edge technology, everything about it was really awesome. But here's a story I have to share. So when I had my wisdom teeth out, which a lot of you know by now, uh, in fact I was wearing this a lot of the time when I was doing this uh, and I was laying in bed over there uh, not really being able to move too much or do too much. Um, I was just on my phone a lot watching a lot of Netflix. Now when I had that thing on it covered up uh, basically the bottom half of my face with the ice and when I did that Face ID did not work correctly on my iPhone 10. Now because I'm lazy and I had the iPhone 8 lying around, I just switched over to use that during those days and it worked perfectly fine with the fingerprint scanner on the iPhone 8. And then I realized, well, I honestly could go back to an 8. For me, the experience on the 8 is better in a lot of regards. The iPhone 10, like I said in my review, and you can watch that whole thing, which will basically compare these two phones for you, uh, but in a more condensed version, the iPhone 10 had a lot of compromises to the experience that iPhone users that have been using iPhones for a while aren't going to be used to and that may or may not like. The iPhone 8 is very familiar, very easy to use, doesn't have any type of learning curve, whereas the iPhone 10 does have a slight learning curve. No matter how big or small you think it is, um, it is a learning curve nonetheless. The iPhone 8 doesn't have any of that and everything about it makes sense and is very familiar. Now in terms of features, this still has a lot of the same features as the 10. It has wireless charging, it has the water resistance, it has the same very fast processor, and in my usage, I've often found the animations just seem a little bit faster on the iPhone 8, and I generally prefer using that. The fingerprint scanner is definitely faster than Face ID, uh, they both have their pros and cons. The camera is still excellent, although it is lacking uh, the depth effect in the portrait mode that is found on the iPhone 10. so that is one difference, uh, although the portrait mode isn't perfect on the iPhone 10. Uh, the form factor is better, like it's easier and smaller to hold in your hand, which is going to be a plus for some people uh, who don't want the iPhone 8 Plus size. Really the only difference would be the screen and portrait mode. Battery life isn't quite as good as here as it is on the 10. I'd get about an hour and a half more on the 10. Not a huge deal, but it does make a difference. Um, and then of course, the screen. On the iPhone 10, you just get that newest technology, uh, which is something you're not finding on the iPhone 8. Both are very fast phones, great cameras, good battery life, wireless charging, water resistance, very premium glass and aluminum or metal handsets. Uh, the big differences are going to be the price tag. That means that this phone with its lower price tag, smaller build, familiar experience and interface, um, better animations in my opinion, um, and the home button, I think this has a place in a lot of people's pockets, not even to just save money, but also just to have a more familiar experience, a little bit smaller body, um, and a lot of the same features as the iPhone 10. I would still take the iPhone 10 any day, but if I had to go back to this, just like I said in my comparison to the iPhone 7, um, I wouldn't really mind. It's a good phone, it's fast, it's reliable, and I really do like the home button. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you liked any of the cases that you saw in this video, or if you like any of the ones I'm about to show you, check out Caseology. They are the sponsor for this episode. They have some awesome cases no matter what you're looking for. Great builds, great designs, good prices. I'll leave a link to check them out in the description. Um, if you have any interest in some awesome cases for your iPhone 10, 8, 7, or any other phone, Caseology is an awesome option. All right, but that is my comparison. Let me know, which of these two phones do you prefer? Do you think it's the better value? Would you go for and which one do you have if you have either of these? Let me know in the comments um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.